all around the town, right? When the people don't receive you, you move to another spot, maybe another city, maybe another state. It just depends, you know? Because then it'll be, you know, much longer. I mean, through the spirit of all, whatever happens, whatever happens. Too many demons get rising up in this spot, we'll move to another spot. And then the people that want us, they're like, when you guys here? One day we ain't gonna be here. We got another word gonna come, you know? Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Right. Uh, actually, and whosoever shall not receive you nor hear your word, you depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily, I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. That's why all the younger brothers have to learn. Don't beat your head against the wall for a nigga that can't get it. If you can't get it, then the most out of the world get it. Right? You tell a guy about the truth. Going on all kinds of scriptures, sweating and shit, trying to get him to get it. You know, why I can't get his brother to get it? You know, because the most high he wanted to get it. He wanted to destroy his ass. Or maybe he might get it later. You just never know. He might get it later on. We gotta get it. <laughs> and whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your word, when right. you depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily, I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Right, born to them that don't receive the truth. They don't get it, it's on them. Yep. Go ahead. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves, be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Right. Yep, we got to be wise as serpents, so using our wisdom, and harmless as doves. Okay. Meaning that, you know, we, we just come out here, teach, call the sack, you know. You know, we don't get into nothing that we don't, uh, that's not fit for the situation, all right? So we got a job to do, man. This is business, okay? We trying to help bring in and gather the elect, okay? But we're doing so, you know, amongst many of our people, they not gonna get it, and we, we, we know that, okay? That's why you got that disclaimer, Revelation 22 and 10. Let him that is filthy be filthy still. You know? We're not, all we been to do is bring the message. You know, we're the message. Deliver the message. And like old saying goes, uh, you don't want the water, but you can't make it rain. You know? Or like you need to hold the water, but you can't make it rain. You know? Like a dude said on the movie. But I mean, that's what it is. We deliver the message. And we, hey, like we said last week, we had our way to all the people in the tent. That's his life. That ain't what most I got written. Alright, so back at wisdom. Back, back speaking on wisdom. I got Proverbs 3 verse 15. She is more precious than rubies. All the things that Kenneth desire are not to be compared to her. The length of days is in her right hand and in her left hand. Riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness. And all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her. And happy is everyone that retaineth her. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth, by understanding he has established the heavens. Amen. This is the most precious thing, once again, that you can have. The wisdom and the understanding of the spirit of the scripture. And that's the way to everlasting life. That's the way that in the kingdom, if you do one, if you do one, you are in the land. Follow the spirit on this side, you will receive those things on the other side of the kingdom of heaven. So you can, you can have anything you want if you follow the spirit. But what you want most is to have a relationship with the Father and follow His way. And in return, He will give you everything. Just like He told Solomon when He asked for wisdom. Right. He said, because you asked for wisdom, I'm gonna give you everything. But the main thing is, you can't choose the Lord. You gotta choose you. You gotta choose you. You gotta say, I, gotta, I ain't choose the street. <laughs> now, real quick, this is a quick scripture. Um, the brother said, if you get right with the Most High, he give you everything. Uh, Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. you know? yeah. So when you follow the Most High, you're going to get it all back in time anyway. A big stumbling block for a lot of people when it comes to the truth. They got one foot in the world. One foot in the truth, they say, well, I got to give all this up. In time, you'll get it all back. You know? A hundredfold. Right. Yep. Yep. It ain't even going to get it all back. It's going to get back a hundredfold. It's going to be beyond what you can fathom. But, but yeah. uh, they're righteous. Yeah. But our people are like kids. They want it, and they want it now. Come on, buddy. Now, what's up? 
you know, you know, but they, they, they're so carnal, they don't look at the spiritual aspect of what you become. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's an essence. Why have that not considered that mind that which has become yeah, that, that yeah. is present? Right. Right. You know, our people are. Because my mind is the essence of the people in the head. He is going to hell. Right. Our, our people are resting. Uh, 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 uh. uh. Worried about the thing that's in the present, man. And this right. is nothing, man. Okay, this, this is not nothing. All right. So I want to get John 15, 16. That made that statement that you can't just choose the Lord. A lot of people got the saying, "Well, I choose the Lord Jesus Christ to be my Savior." You can't do that, man. I mean, that's not His name, but you just can't do that. It's double wrong. It's double wrong. John 15, verse 16. And it reads, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that you should go for, that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you should ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. So just thinking, I didn't think, you know, I was gonna be out here on the street. Trying to teach, yeah, right, brothers out here trying to teach a wake up with Jesus with a Bible in my hand. I never thought in a million years, man. You know, I always knew I was searching for something, you know, searching for the truth. But in a million years, I, I, I just didn't know it was the scripture because it had been so changed over the years. Well, it was taught to be painted. The scripture was never changed, but it was taught in that particular way. So I thought it was in the wrong way. But if the Heavenly Father called me in, brought me in, I was given the wisdom. I was, I was given the wisdom to understand. This is a beautiful thing. Yeah, I got to step back up. This is John 6, verse 44. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him. And I will raise him up at the last day. So you gotta be drawn by the Heavenly Father, man, to come, to come through this thing here. To come bring in that fruit. You know, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to bring in that fruit. We're trying to gather that elect. We're trying to steal the elect. So we can get out of here, man. Because we want better for our nation, man. You people don't want better for the nation, man. You, they love it here. They, all these people are like lots of white people. Right, all my they love it here. Yeah, we're trying to, they, we, and we're trying to tell them, you know, it's better on the other side. Right. They'll be looking back like, man, I kind of want to, I want to go back. <laughs> and that's why they got to get put together. Man. That's why they got put together. Right. Turning up to that vomit or that sin. Yeah, there's, there's a greater glory waiting on us, man. Okay? Uh, bring that out with you guys. Yeah, we want to get out of all the things. Colossians, Colossians, one verse. 20, 25. Whereof I made a minister according to the dispensation of God which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Wherefore I made a minister according to the dispensation of God which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Even the mystery which has been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. Now they manifest to the saints, man. We are the saints, the Israelites. Psalm 48. Okay. It manifest, the wisdom is given to us, and now we're revealing the secrets of the Heavenly Father. We're now with the balance of the people. And our people got it easy, man. We're going to homework for them. Putting up lessons, looking at, looking at, looking at the word. We got some brothers that's going into the Hebrew. Okay. Uh, 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 some brothers do a lot of news channels, uh, uh, geopolitical matter, you know, all different things. You know, uh, through the whole body, we got all brothers doing all sorts of things to help the body learn. Okay. There's many talents in the body. This is what's so beautiful about the whole body. Yeah. Each of us piece, each piece of us fits, but we all come back, back together, y'all about to know what's up. See? Fanny, brother? Huh? You got more on here.
Verse 27, to whom God would make known what is, what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in the house of Shah. Where too, I also lay labor, striving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. Right. So the very, very definitely, that's what's working in us mightily. The power is not, the power is in the spirit in us. To the spirit, not of our own selves. We don't, we don't make this thing up. It's the Heavenly Father that's going to found it. Uh, Matthew 13, verse 1. The same day, have a shout out of the house and sat by the seaside, and great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went to the ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. Verse 9. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Matthew 13, verse 9. Who has ears, who has ears to hear, let him hear. The disciple and the disciples came and said to you, Why speakest thou to them in parables? The answer is said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven. But to them, it is not given. Right. Verse 9. Hey, Who has ears to hear, let him hear. Who has ears to hear, let him hear. Yeah. Everybody can hear, but it's talking about the understanding if you can receive it. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou to him in parables? So the disciples are inquiring of the Lord, Why, why are you speaking to us in parables? The answer is said unto them, because it is given to you to know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Right, so when the Lord was on the scene speaking the multitude, the disciples asked, well, why are you speaking in code, Lord? And the Lord told them, because it is to you, it's for you to know the secret of the kingdom of heaven. It's not given to the large masses and the multitude of people. So it's the same way here and now. Okay? We're looking for the fewer number. Only the elect one to get it. Because when the Lord was on the scene, He didn't give everybody a mystery because He didn't care about everybody. That's just plain, man. You people were taught that the Lord was talking to everybody and He cared about everybody. No. Because He only gave secrets to His disciples. He didn't give it to nobody else. Why is that? Why do you think? People need to get this through your brain. For whosoever has to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever has not, from him shall be taken away, even that he has. Yeah, so 